as I'm sure you know, Terraria 1.4 has been released on mobile. Now mobile has this setup instead of the old one, where we can do hardcore, but more importantly for today, hardcore and for the worthy, as well as master mode. So as you can see, I just have a bunch of classic mode characters, or I just ha don't even have one expert mode world that it, um, I'm post Eater of Worlds on, which isn't great. <laughs> But, um, yeah, let's try a Master for the Worthy speedrun, and maybe we'll be able to do something with that. <clears throat> I like how the text is backwards, it's just, it's really fun. Like, I think that's like generating large caves, okay. Yeah, this is gen growing spider caves. And if you notice why the, um, world evil changed, it's because, um, we had to make a new world because of the old one. It crashed out while we were generating it. Hopefully that's just a bug that's in the, um, system right now, and they can get that fixed soon. So right now we're Sevac Redick, so now we're Ma Slaw Evac Nemac. Okay, yeah, it's, it's loading up. <clears throat> so, what we're going to want to do is avoid slime spawns. Did you, oh, did you see the finalizing world thing? It wasn't um upside down. Yeah, but what we're going to do is avoid slime spawns, hopefully. Yeah, that's happy buff. Good. And yeah, the world name got changed to the ironic, the YOLO tale. You only live once, because ironically now you only live once. And I can't pick up this wood. Which is odd. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I'm hoping we can get out of um, the Halloween season, as you can see, we got our demolitionist as starting NPC. Now I know for a lot of you this isn't new stuff, but because I play on mobile, this is the greatest thing to happen to mobile Terraria. Oop, bomb! Run, run from bomb! Hey, it blew up the nice background tree. Come on, bomb! But what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to get a pumpkin armor. Because, yes, that exists. I. It is probably the second least used armor in Terraria after Obsidian armor. Although now I think Obsidian armor will see more usership because it's a pre boss summoner armor. If you use bombs. Oh, and, um, yeah, looks like, um, Pyro Wizard, one of my, er, my friend is dead. Ooh, and the benched achievement! Hey! Wonder what percent of players have that. She's on hardcore as well. Pyro wizard, so that shouldn't be an issue and there's a blue there's a slime harassing me with a hundred HP. Jump it, bam. What I really liked about um one point three was just the everyone on one point four. Like the one point four change log, you could see what they patched. Oh, there goes demo. <laughs> Very unfortunate ping pong. Ooh, and he dropped a gravestone. Didn't know NPCs drop gravestones. It's gonna be a big problem in this playthrough unless we make prisons. Oh, and my friend's already dead. That's quite unfortunate. So let's get that armor on. Let's make ourselves a wooden sword. Let's kill the first slime. This thing's doing crazy amounts of damage. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Come on, come on. Run up the hill. Ooh, pumpkins. Pumpkin armor. Although... Now that I think about it, pumpkin's probably become gonna become the least used armor. Yes, Pyro Wizard, I see you're a ghost. Because obsidian armor is now summoner. Let's get some stone for arrows. Arrows need a workbench. Um, okay. Yeah. And then once we get something resembling a base set up, we will um oop, watch that slime. <laughs> we will um get started with go exploring that cave, but we're not going to explore further than we can see, because we can't die. And these slimes are absolutely brutal. So, I know right now that I'm in way over my head for someone who's never beaten Terraria. But I just honestly want to see. Like, we're going to do things so much more cautiously that it's just a completely different mindset from how I normally play the game. 
again with the not picking up item glitch. And as and Free the Rivy is modded, and it'll probably be the closest to modded that mobile ever gets. I don't care what you say, T Mod Loader devs. You just can't put mods on mobile. It's not the same as computer. Because it's not as much storage space. And I think there should be, like, maybe we'll check out 516 2020 after this. But, um, oh, oh if I would have gotten that snipe on that slime. Um, yeah. These are definitely the hardest monsters I've ever faced. And they are master for the worthy slimes. Yeah. And they don't even look like slimes. They have bunny costumes on, which is absolutely hilarious. So, yeah, let's see if we can go build this house for Guide, because Demo's already dead and he won't respawn until we get bombs. Should have bought some grenades if we had enough money. But since green slimes drop one silver in this game, um, that's quite an improvement over the three copper they drop on normal mode in a... Ease or in a uh, soft core world. I don't know if hardcore does anything to affect the money drops. But yeah, we're up to five silver already from killing slimes. So. And another thing I'm really worried about is the angry dandelion mob. Because if it's a windy day, I probably shouldn't even leave the house because of those things. Like, they will massacre me. And I will not like it in the slightest. Because then I'll have to either get a new character, which I do believe that the drops despawn when you die. So I'll have to start all over except with this nice little base setup. Kinda, sorta, not really. Did I just have some sort of special effect holding that sword? Like, did it act like it was in a sheath when I wasn't using it? That's awesome <laughs> if it did that. Nope. Oh no, this is a horrible slime battle. Yeah, that- okay, we got out of it though. Bing, dead. So yeah, a couple biomes we're gonna wanna find. We're gonna have to do a crimson YOLO at some point. For a, um, life for stoles and arms dealer. Because I'm pretty sure that the quad barrel shotgun will be a good friend of ours in this playthrough. But yeah, I'm- Probably in weight over my head, but I just want to see like if I can get close to NPC or not to NPC Sorry, I just lost my train of thought because um I was doing some NPC housing, but EOC is where I want to get with this And I probably won't make it there because if I like die more than once I'll probably just end this and go for maybe would you all want to see like a normal mode hardcore stream because I'm still awful at Terraria, but that would add a little bit of suspense to it. Like, watch someone who's garbage at Terraria try to beat normal mode without dying. But yeah, we have all these cool features, like block replace. And yeah, the gameplay is just it's much better already. And we are, I believe, like 10 minutes into it. Haven't even dug one, or haven't even broke one block with the pickaxe. Except for this, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> wow, that could have gone worse. It could have been, um, there could have been the end of this right there. Nope, okay. Let's go for a elevator, or something resembling it. Gosh, why is this copper pickaxe so fast? Yeah, and then Pyro Wizard's ghosting me with, because she's dead. We've agreed that she can help me explore, kinda, sorta. Like, she can go down in front of me and look for biomes. And then another thing that I might consider is doing a Terraria playthrough on max zoom. Like, from the moment I start the game, I have to go max zoom. How would I do that, though? Is that what y'all wanna see? Or do y'all wanna see, like, more... Hardcore speedruns, master, master for the worthy. I don't think that there will ever be anyone good enough at Terraria to do a master for the worthy hardcore speedrun. 
I mean, look at Chippy Gaming's For the Worthy series right now. He, let's see. Um, I think he's on his, as of right now, this is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He's on his, um, I think, third, no, he, I think he got Plantera, but then he raided the temple. But he took him, I think, four tries to beat Plantera. And, um, one of the times he just accidentally despawned it. Despawned it. But then him versus Old One's Army. That's another thing I'm really excited about, the Old One's Army. I mean, that's gonna be just so fun. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, there's a slime who picked up my aggro, so let's get rid of that boy. Um, okay. Okay. So yeah, it's almost night, so I'm gonna want to go to the mines at night because zombies and demonizers are a one shot, or just about. But um, yeah, let's get a couple more trees before then. Maybe we can slap down some more NPC housing, or maybe we'll just make more torches with it. I don't know. Although honestly, bombs. Yeah, speaking of bombs, but bombs would be faster to mine this. They would just like. And then you got the short sword thing. But, um, what's really funny is the mini shark playthrough we generated in 1.3. Now the mini shark playthrough first vid isn't out yet. That's what me and Pyro Wizard, or Lemma as I call her in the video, that's her Elias there, is, um, we're trying to work on that video. The, um, mini shark video. But now that we got the all these cool costume slimes and pumpkins are growing everywhere and goodie bags have a higher drop chance and stuff, yeah, it'll be pretty fun. But um yeah, there's definitely some bugs I've been noticing with item picking up and um looting chests is also pretty buggy too. Because my sister, um well my friend, I'm sorry, I have a sister who's annoying me throughout this video. But um my friend has, um, she's looted a couple chests in journey mode. She's a pretty casual player. Oh, come on. What wooden bows mo- Thank you, powerful wooden bow, for appearing. You're helping me out a lot. You're the only good bo modifier I got on that bow. But, um, anyway, she went and looted a chest in journey mode while she was screen recording, and sent the footage to me, because it was awful. Like, she looted the chest, and then she went out of it, and it the items didn't show up until she was, like, a, until, like, a second after she had already started moving again. Although that's quite possibly because of the auto-pause feature, and as you can see, we've been doing some Helbert, or some Helvator mining, and we picked up a danger sense potion. But if that's not a spider cave, I don't know what it is, so we're out of here. Bam. Um, okay. Fallen stars. I think mage will be our best bet because it's homing. Or summoner. Because all of the, um, summons know a pretty good idea what's the most dangerous thing to us. But yeah, if we can get two NPCs, all the stuff should stop spawning. Which will be really helpful. And then once we can start piloning around... This is for sure the hardest stage of the game in any hardcore run. Because then we can start piloning around and getting good things. And I think speedruns are the most in- Oh, God. <laughs> wow. That's a brush with death. Oh my gosh. Okay, guide is... Half a life? He's not doing too bad. Oh, um, yeah, now he's about dead and... Okay, yeah, that's a one-shot <laughs> on me. But, um, as I was saying, I don't think... Well, actually, I forgot what I was saying. But, um, I think I could do some more speedruns like this. Or some speedruns, like Knight's Edge, Eye of Cthulhu. The Knight's Edge speedrun is the one that intrigues me the most. And, um, we're just getting set up right here with some iron, copper... This may be the first time anyone has used any copper in the entirety of Terraria, just because it's garbage. 
But yeah, we're gonna get an iron bow. Very nice power upgrade from five to eight damage, and we'll upgrade our sword by one. But, um, what you guys are probably noticing is, or at least what I'm noticing, because it's new for me, is the upgraded, um, health and mana looks, along with the chat even in single player servers, which is quite an odd feature. Yeah, let's get those pumpkins, because we want the pumpkin stuff. Oh, that was just background object. Maybe if we shake some of these trees, we'll get bombs, and we'll do that later. We won't die. Okay. But what I'm concerned about is this is a windy day. There are angry, angry dandelions. They're going to be everywhere. At least I'd, I'd hope not. But they're going to be everywhere. Okay, let's bridge across this. I see a living tree over there. Can I make that jump? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll just build some more dirt. Um, okay. Oh god, a gnome. Okay, let we gotta freeze the gnome and then we can take it up and use it for luck. Hey, let's go. Isn't that a new achievement in 1.4.1? So I would have just like completely shrek the achievement. Um, yeah, let's get those pumpkins. Gotta guide back. And, um, maybe we can do something like using NPCs as weapons. Like, can every NPC kill the king slime? Or will they kill them first? And then if they win, we should go to expert mode. Okay. If there's a gnome, it is gonna ruin my day. Oh my god, why? So many bombs run? Who? <laughs> I was so interested in the chest that it could have been a real disaster. Okay, do we want finch staff or do we want a normal accessory? Like climbing claws or something like that. I want finch staff. A hey, finch staff. I swear I didn't go back and just look at what was in there and then add in this dub. I mean, I don't play with my sound on. So, well, I do. And th I am dubbing, but I did not add in that dub. It was a fin- er, I did not know it was a finch staff when I was recording. But, um, A. So, yeah. And, oh god. It's a button of insta-kill. Let's get rid of that. Oh, apparently that didn't even hurt. Huh, it's really cosmetic. Just get rid of it. We get ourselves our money. Kill this slime. This wand was sparking, helping out. Like, a ton. Damage, damage, damage. Boom. Kills the slime before all my mana's gone. It's helpful. As you can see, I just walk through that gel over there without picking it up. Though my inventory, it might be full, I'm not sure. Yay, snow biome. Okay. We got close to enough pumpkins for, um... I know we have enough for some pumpkin pie. But I'm pretty sure we're close to, um... Yeah, we just got 30 pumpkins from three background pumpkins. But I'm, close, I'm pretty sure we're close to the pumpkin armor, which is, I think, 11 defense. So those, king sli or those slimes that are hitting for 35, they're going to only be hitting for 24, which is a crazy upgrade. Because instead of dying in three, we can take five hits. Or it takes them five hits to kill us. So let's just trash all these wooden bows, because I was modifier farming, even though I got an iron bow like 10 minutes later, because you need modifiers in this game. <clears throat> and then maybe we'll grab some snow blocks for snowballs, because they're useful, and then boreal wood for some boreal wood armor, if we can't complete the pumpkin set, which I think you need 75 to complete it. Or maybe it's like the hard mode or armor sets where you need more than that to complete it. But yeah. And you notice we have a dart trap in our inventory. I literally took a danger sense potion as I almost stepped on the pressure plate of it. So, and those things are buttons of death in this game. In Master Hardcore for the Worthy. That will end your run and you will not be happy. As you can see, my friend 
Pyro is still ghosting me, although I think she says she's about to leave. Mm, yeah, balloon slimes, that's a nice upgrade. And then trees have this nice animation where they shake in the wind, which is cool. And I like the new backgrounds, too. But the finch staff is probably the biggest upgrade we've had this playthrough. I don't know what could kill us now. Because the finch staff... How many times... Did anyone count how many times I hit it with the wand of sparking instead of the finch staff? Or is the finch staff just that good? Like, did it clear the enemy? Like, enough that I could hit it with the wand of sparking before it got over here? Yeah, there was my friend. But, um, I like the new chat, how it looks, too. It's very nice. So, <laughs> yeah. Get rid of all these wooden bows. If we had merch and I would sell them. Because I think they sell for, like, 20 copper. But, um, one thing that I'm disappointed, I didn't know it wasn't in the game, I thought it was, was a pumpkin bow. And maybe it is, and I just didn't have enough pumpkins for it. And I take back what I said about the finch staff, that almost killed us. And there's a chonk slime, so we're gonna get out of here. So yeah, guide, he's nice and chill. We can make some pumpkin pie, but we want pumpkin armor instead. Let's make the leggings first, because the wood leggings don't give any defense once you break the set. So they would just be a waste of time. Yeah, pumpkin breastplate. Now I should have checked how much it was for the helmet, because now we need to go get that. Okay, still a windy day, we're on the lookout for some dandelions. I think I need, like, 20 more pumpkins. What I should have done was I should have asked the guide. That was a dumb moment. Um, okay. Yep. I like the new flowers backgrounds and the flower caves. And, um, yeah. So we got our living trees here. I don't know if this is a standard of the seed of further worthy. But as far as I saw, none of those dropped into the dungeon. And there's a button of death. And I can't get rid of those things. Ha! <laughs> I jumped him. I jumped through him though. You suck. <laughs> what? What the? Gosh dang it! Come on! It went through me the other time. This is garbage. We'll come back and get all those items with a different character and see what we can do. Okay. Yeah, Master for the Worthy Hardcore was not a great idea. I think we can go... Do you think we can go normal or expert? I... Because I have trouble in expert so much, but... Because it's Master, I feel like I made such a good effort. Or so much of a bigger effort. Okay, so let's go get our items. And get this pumpkin up. Yeah. <clears throat> but what we want is we just want to go for, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna probably my next video that's going to come out. I'm still working on the mini shark only. So, yeah, it'll probably be the mini shark only up to Skeletron to get, um, Cobalt Shield. That's really the only thing we can get because everything else is a wep. And there's nothing here. Great. <clears throat> So we just had to restart our entire game, except for this nice setup that we did. I think that I'm gonna just do normal hardcore. And then maybe after that, I'll do a um, Knight's Edge speedrun. Where I try to get the Knight's Edge as fast as possible. But what's gonna be hard about that... <clears throat> Well, what we'll probably do is we'll um, get enough rope to rope down into Crimson Cavern. And then we'll just grab an Undertaker, go back up the rope, and um, make sure we go to the um, dungeon side. Which I think is standard now in Terraria. Yeah, but look at that. See, I looted the chest and then like five seconds later the stuff showed up. That green slime can't make it up here, we good. Oh, nope, it can. Um, okay. Isn't the umbrella a weapon now? Yeah, it's a- you can stab things with it, which is nice. But you couldn't in 1.3. Okay. 
Okay, that could have been a lot worse than it was. Okay, yeah, so let's dig down a different part, and yeah, we can cheese the slime. Can we, though? Oh, we got grenades, we're good. Ding! Create a pot and a slime. And I like the candy apple texture. It's nice. Let's get all of this stuff up. And, um, let's get all the copper. Mm, yes, it's copper. I'm not ashamed at all. <clears throat> not in the slightest. But we, what we don't have is a recall potion, which I really thought we would get. I thought it would be a lot bigger than just this minuscule cave. Ha ha ha. <laughs> wow. That was pretty laggy. So yeah, I don't know what they'll do about that. Maybe it's just an in-game feature, like something that I have to turn on and off. All I know is it's not default on computer, but it is default on mobile, which is different. I have friends who play on computer. You probably know them. They're the people who run this channel. Immortal and Vortex. They're cool boys. But, yeah. So, we're gonna have to figure out how to get out of this cave just by spamming. And, um, that's gonna be a tall task. But, there is background walls, so we can spam blocks on those. Which, I mean, I'm not saying we'll spam copper ore. But, I mean, if we have to, I'm pretty sure we want wood more than copper ore, unfortunately. And then maybe I can get, um, if mobile gets the one, I think mobile 1.4.1 should be, um, the dev's priority now, after they get, um, console to 1.4. Because then mobile and PC should be compatible. Unless they do something. That's my timer. I have somewhere to go at um one thirty. It's when I'm recording this. But um yeah, this is wonderful. We got all the walls over there, but no walls over here. We should dig out, honestly. But I mean that wasn't any or that's not any fun. Stop doing the duck noise timer. Yeah, we'll use some brock the block replace. Mm, get that block replace in action. Okay, yeah, waste of 20 wood. 42 damage. I thought it was 34. Yeah, that's more like it. That 33. Oh, come on. It didn't even hit me. 